One of the biggest questions my subscribers have is how many batteries do I need? In this easy 4 step guide, I will show you the process of determining how many batteries you need. Step 1. Understanding your power consumption. First, you need to know how much power you are consuming daily. There are two methods. If you are off the grid, you need to make a load analysis. If you are grid connected, you can take a look at your monthly bill. Let's take John as an example. John lives off the grid, so he doesn't get a monthly bill. Instead, he lists all his appliances and how much energy he consumes in a spreadsheet, just like this one. By noting the power of each device and how many hours per day it runs, he can calculate his total daily watt-hour usage. We can see that John has a daily consumption of 10 kWh. Now, let's consider Mike, who is grid-connected. He can use his power bill as a reference. By dividing the total kilowatt hours consumed in 30 days, Mike figures out his daily power consumption. The average monthly consumption in the US is about 10,300 kilowatt hours, which comes down to approximately 30 kilowatt hours per day. Step 2. Days of autonomy. John needs to decide how long he wants to run his appliances. In an off-grid situation, I recommend having 3 days of autonomy. That means, if there is no sun, wind or generator power, John can still run his house for 3 days on battery power alone. And for Mike, who is grid connected, the consideration is how long the power outage typically lasts. If outages last just a few hours, one day of autonomy should suffice. But remember, a larger battery will cost more. So Mike needs to balance his needs with his budget. Step 3. Choosing the right battery type and voltage. Contrary to popular belief, lithium batteries are now cheaper than lead acid batteries. I've compared them in a previous video, and prices have dropped even more since then. So both John and Mike should go with the lithium battery, specifically lithium iron phosphate or LIFEPO4. The battery voltage should be 48 volts in my opinion. Why? Because you will have a large inverter, and the larger the inverter, the higher the current will get. For example, a 5000 watt inverter with a 12 volt battery will have much more current draw than a 48 volt battery. Higher current means more expensive wiring. As you can see, Using a higher voltage battery is beneficial, not only for discharging, but also for charging. You can use a cheaper charge controller and charger. But for more details, you should check out my video about it. Step 4. Sizing your battery. Now, let's size the battery for John's off-grid setup. Using our example of a 10 kWh daily load, the formula becomes 10 kilowatt hours times 3 days of autonomy equals 30 kilowatt hours of energy storage. One 48 volt 100 amp hour battery stores 5 kilowatt hours. So John would need 6 of these batteries. These batteries will cost him a total of $8,350. I have linked my recommended battery in the description. And for Mike's grid tight system with a battery backup, needing only one day of autonomy, the formula becomes 30 kilowatt hours times one day of autonomy equals 30 kilowatt hours of battery storage. This is the same battery requirement as John's off-grid setup. But Mike can reduce the amount of batteries by being mindful about his consumption. For instance, during a power outage, he might choose not to run high power appliances like the washer the dryer or air conditioning. If he limits his usage to 10 kilowatt hours for the day when the grid is down, he will only need a 10 kilowatt hour battery for one day of autonomy. This approach will be much more cost effective. And if you want to know more about adding backup power when you're grid connected, I made a video about it. So if you're interested, go check it out.
I made diagrams to help you get started with off-grid solar power systems. Check out the first link in the description to receive them in your mailbox. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Check out this playlist for more tips on off-grid solar and battery setups. And I will see you in the next one.